Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1. Today we're going to take a look at the Grade Center and how to create a calculated column. Now to get into your Grade Center, you'll go to your Control Panel on the lower left hand side, click on Grade Center and Full Grade Center. And that's going to load your Grade Center on the right hand side. So for the sake of this demo, I already put in two columns at the end here. I have column 1, which is just a normal column, and column 2, which is just a normal column. Each of these columns is worth one point score. Now I did want you to notice that I did put two zeros in this first column here. The rest of everyone else has ones. And in column 2, everyone else has ones. So you could have a total of two points. Now two students are going to only get a tally of a single point. I want to show you a way that you can create a calculated column to tally these two together. So I'm going to click on Create Calculated Column, and I'm going to create a total column. Under Total Column, I'll give it a specific name. And I'm just going to give it a name that's descriptive of what I'm about to do. Okay, so I'm going to add column 1 to 2. Obviously, you could come up with a better name, I'm sure, when you're creating your columns, but that's okay. I'm going to go down a little bit further. Now I'm just going to display this as a score. And I need to select which columns I want to include in this particular total. So in Category 3 is where I'll do the selection. You'll notice right now it's just going to tally all the columns in the Grade Center if I don't do anything. But if I select columns and categories, it's going to bring up a new panel here. So it gives me the option to select categories if I wanted to add those up, or particular columns right in the top here. So I want to get column 1 and column 2 to be tallied within this created calculated column. Okay. So if you create a calculated column and you want it to calculate as a running total, this means that if a student doesn't turn in assignment, but they're going to turn it in at some point in the future, it's not going to tally that little dash as a zero. It just tallies it as it's not there, and it'll give them a correct grade. Now, if you turn that to no, you're going to have a little bit of a, of a weird uh, calculation if you have a whole bunch of columns in there that don't have grades in it for it yet. Okay, that said, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Submit button. It's going to give me success. Created the columns. If I go over to the right now, you're going to notice the results of that calculated column. So for the first student, 1 plus 1 is 2. For the second, 0 plus 1 is 1. And you can kind of see the benefit of that. You could take all your assignments for the semester, for example, and add them up to give them a percentage on just your assignments, or just a percentage on your tests, and give them a little bit more of a breakdown of how they did in their class in a whole or in parts. And this concludes this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1.